our traditional scallop beds in Cardigan Bay, right in the middle of a special area of conservation. Habitat regulations as they are, the Welsh Government need to do a habitat regulations assessment to allow activities like fishing to take place. Back in 2009, there were restrictions imposed on the fishery uh, in Cardigan Bay and those restrictions included closing significant areas of traditional scallop ground uh, and obviously as a result that had you know some fairly significant impacts. It made things quite difficult because obviously we had to travel further away from home and the knock-on effect as well of uh, having to fish our summer fishery in the winter time that fishery wasn't being rested so uh, there was more pressure put on that fishery. We discussed these closures and our board agreed to offer to mediate between the, the scallop fishermen and the fishery managers. It was important to have fairly clear vision and that was essentially to develop a, a sustainable scallop fishery within Cardigan Bay. Very simple, very straightforward. We all focus on that ambition. What we've done as industry is be involved in those discussions to help add any additional information or services really, because fishermen have been actively engaged in uh, undertaking survey work with Bangor University and others. The most innovative um, idea behind the potential management strategy is the idea of having a management threshold that's set for conservation features first and foremost. So in other words, because the area is an area of conservation importance, we take into account the impact of the fishing on the conservation features such that we um, manage the amount of fishing activity so that threshold is not exceeded. Bangor University has undertaken a long period of uh, scientific sampling and finally uh, in conjunction with Welsh Government and Natural Resources Wales and with the collaboration of the fishing industry undertook a very large-scale experiment um, the first of its kind to be undertaken anywhere in the world um, to actually identify what the environmental threshold in relation to scallop fishing was. We all, all the fishermen who were involved, we, you know, we saw the end game which was realising a sustainable fisheries. We've been doing a lot of work with um, trailing VMS, the satellite tracking. That included gear in, gear out technology. The sensors on our fishing gear, and you could tell if the gear is on the seabed or on the boat. For measures such as uh, effort control and days at sea, it's quite important. The, the trials that we did, the intensity trial, that, that was to uh, work out the um, seabed tolerance how many times we could go over the ground without disturbing the seabed. The experimental findings indicated that the seabed could withstand something in the region of um, disturbance levels of the area being swept three times completely um, per annum. So we have to deal with the evidence issues first of all and then develop the measures. Once we'd done the evidence, we then looked at the, the measures with industry and, uh, and Welsh Government and um, I'm really ple pleased that uh, Welsh Government went to consultation on that in the uh, spring of this year. The, the strategy developed could set a precedence for future fisheries management. Basically what we have here is a, an evidence-based fisheries management plan. The next thing that we need to do is talk with colleagues to look at developing a fisheries improvement project in the short term which will uh, consider the fishery under the new management and then beyond that so we can almost test drive these measures to make sure that they're proportionate and appropriate and relevant for the fishery. Once we've achieved that then we'd go uh, straight into um, certification uh, of the uh, MSE certification of the fishery. 